Hello, it's me. How are we all? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back for another vlog. Time to a vlogging gal. I'm really enjoying the vlogging life. It's Valentine's Day, by the way. Happy Valentine's, Galentine's, whatever times you're celebrating. I hope you're having a good one. Sorry, the man just put something strange in the drawer and I wonder what's going on. I'm sat outside a post office that wouldn't take my parcels. <laughs> so I'm sat here with all my vintage parcels and nowhere for them to go which is kind of annoying. Anyway, happy Valentine's. I'm starting this vlog because my best friend Phoebe's coming to stay this weekend. If you know the channel, you will know Phoebe. She's one of my oldest friends, not as in she's old, as in we've known each other for what feels like forever, over 10 years of friendship. Which I always think is quite, quite proud of that. We're like sisters, we're not like friends. We are just so close. And she works abroad now. She works away a lot of the time. She doesn't get to come home very often. So when she comes back to Manchester, she drives her little bum down here or I go up there. But this time, sorry, I'm getting texts. This time she is coming to stay for the weekend with Dennis, her gorgeous doggy who I'm in love with. We've got really fun things planned. We've got a Galentine's night on Friday with all of my besties and then we're going to the Opoly fashion show I believe on Saturday. So loads of fun things to come but today is Valentine's so let's focus on the now. I need to run and get my charger because this camera's about to die. So I need to do that and we're off to Sopo House because we're going for a spa day. <laughs> spa day, overnight stay and dinner. Leon's joining me later. He's at work so he will not get there till quite late which is a bit sad but I'm going to enjoy the spa. It's actually quarter to I could have got there at 12, but I've had so many errands to do this morning that I haven't got there early enough. So I'm going to go home, get the charger for this camera that I think I've left at home and it's now flashing angrily at me. And I am going to bring you guys to the spa. So let's go. Hello guys. So I wanted to hop in this video and chat to you a little bit about HelloFresh. You guys know I'm a huge lover of HelloFresh. Leon and I, it's just the most convenient thing for our lifestyle. But one of the things Leon and I have been really interested in this year is trying to eat a little bit more healthily and consciously. I'm actually going to put my QR code on the screen while I'm talking. It's going to give you guys 60% off your first box. So if you haven't tried HelloFresh, use this QR code 60% off your first box. And if you enjoy it, it's going to give you 20% off the next two months, which is amazing. I I've got three dishes here. Oh, we have, this is actually one that I know I'm gonna love. This is the ultimate, this isn't chicken tikka masala. I am such a fan of curries. I am obsessed with curries. You guys know I'm also vegetarian, so they have a lot of pescatarian, vegetarian options on HelloFresh. This, I can't wait for this. But the one I cooked the other night, because we are on a little bit of a health kick, is the roasted salmon and Hasselback potatoes. This was gorgeous. I actually did a lot of this in my air fryer. You don't have to, you can use your oven. I know calories are not something that everybody is concerned about, but if you are looking to be a little bit more healthy in the year 2024, then this is an amazing recipe that filled both of, both of us up. It was super simple. And then the final one that I picked for this week is this goat cheese and caramelized onion little pizza, which I really like. I think things like this are really fun as well for like a cute date night. I always feel so satisfied with their meals, but they're also great if you're looking to make healthier habits or just general habits that you want to keep up. And I really hope you guys enjoy your HelloFresh code. Let me know what you end up cooking. Send me some pictures. That would be really, really fun. And maybe I'll go back on live and we can do some like make dinner kind of lives with me and chat on TikTok. Let me know if that's something you guys would want. She's back in the same place. Not in the same place, but the vlog's back in the same spot. Right, some highs and some lows, some wins and some losses. Found a battery in my phone, which meant I didn't have to go home, which was great, because we're halfway there, so that would have been really annoying. Secondly, however, just gone to take my parcels to the next place. So I went to one place, they were full up. I've just gone to the next place. They don't accept parcels anymore. They stopped, she said, like six months ago. So the journey continues. I also have had a warning sign come up on my car telling me to stop driving immediately. But we've got to get ourselves to the spa and it's literally like flashing orange and like a warning sign so i've done what any rational person does taken a picture of it and sent it to my boyfriend and said hi you're not a mechanic but what does this mean can i carry on driving let's see what he says okay the sign went off so i'm gonna assume it's all good probably get the car looked at tomorrow anyway we've arrived i'm here at Sopwell house i've got so many bags i've got leon stuff my stuff don't really want to like lug it all in also the space that i've just parked this car in it is so small guys and there's like this was the only space so i don't know if people are gonna leave and then there'll be more spaces but i don't know where he's gonna park i have honestly got so much stuff for one night i'm like a bit embarrassed to take it all in there maybe i'll leave his stuff in the car and come back and get it i should have brought a suitcase i just brought a bag like a what's it called katie loxton like overnight bag which i love i've got like a louis vuitton holder and i use this bag more i just it's really convenient it has like a long strap it's comfortable i'm a real big fan okay i'm gonna try and work out some logistics and hopefully when i see you next i'll be in the hotel guys 
Okay, I just walked into the room. Also, it's my new jumper from Odd Muse. How cute is it? I just walked into the room. Stunning room. Views of the countryside. It's beautiful. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's a man in a robe. I thought it was a man in a science jacket. He's actually in his robe. Having a cigarette. Anyway, I'm going to show you the room in a minute because the room, the room is giving. But I've just walked into the room. Can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? Can we talk about these flowers with little, like, diamantes in them? I don't know who these are for. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. Oh, my God. They're from Leon. I don't from Zappa, they're from Leon. Oh my god, they're from Leon. He's so cute. Sorry guys, I had to just ring Leon because he's so cute. Do oh, you know what? I am like a big fan of Valentine's. I know some people hate it. But I feel like I like it just because I love it. If when I was single, I loved it in a relationship. I just love it. I think it's all about love. And that is just such a vibe. I've just been told the breakfast starts at 7. So I'm wondering if he might be able to grab a little something before he leaves for work. Because he has to leave at about 7. So I'm like, oh, could he grab something? I'm going to speak to him when he gets here. But let me show you the room. So firstly, my incredible flowers which i'm obsessed with this odd muse jumper which i might have just showed you but i'm not sure i've got gymshark leggings on i'm just a gymshark girl now literally all i wear these ones are some of my favorite i'll actually link i'll link some of my must have gymshark bits below because it can be a bit overwhelming i just have a discount code with them george may if you want to use it so the room that i'm in is called the chic room here at Sopwell house this is like the little getting ready area which i just love love a little setup like this there's like two plugs there there's another two plugs there we love to see it. This is the big old window and the views of the countryside, which it's giving, isn't it, guys? Big old telly, lovely vanity unit, more stunning countryside views, which I, I just love this room so much. Little sofa area. I'm going to move our stuff around. Huge bed. Big old bed. Cute little lamps. I'm going to hang up my outfit, actually. I'm going to wear tonight in this wardrobe. And then this is the bathroom space. Big old mirror. Hey. Bath. Lou, really excited. My hair needs a wash, but I'm gonna do it later. I am gonna put my robe on and I'm gonna head down to the spa. I also want to just sit on my phone. I've got order some bits for my like Galentine's thing this weekend, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Answer some emails, get my life in order. And I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. This is such a little treat. Like I, me and Leon, we go away. Obviously, we do treat ourselves to things, but like we don't really do staycations in the UK often. We did one. I think last year we went to the Fish, and it was so amazing. But this is equally as amazing, and it's so much more convenient for me because I live a lot closer to here. So <gasps> just look at that, and there's a big old duck down there. Right, I'm gonna get myself ready. I'll see you guys in the spa. Okay, off we go down to the spa. I've got my robe on, I've got my slippers on. I'm ready to go. I've taken my watch and my ring off. Probably should take my earrings out as well. And these are the supplies that I brought with me hey guys so i came back to the room because it was super busy uh there's like two pots of softball house spa by the way there is I've just had a coffee and i've had like so much coffee today i felt like i shouldn't have had that coffee there's the club at cotton mill and there's cotton mill spa so if you're ever booking like a spa day just know there is a huge oh, a huge difference there is quite a big difference between those two because i've been here before and i've kind of made that mistake where we didn't pay for the club we paid for cotton mill and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it but just when you see the other part of the spa which are all like the images online that's that's like what you want so then sometimes when you come and like you don't have access to that if that's not what you've booked it's like oh my god so i just wanted to give some of you guys a heads up but i was in not the club bit i was in just the cotton milk bit and um it's really busy i think because obviously it's valentine's day so it's super super busy in there and obviously i'm by myself and i don't want to like splish splash around in the hot tub with like other couples alone do you know what i mean i don't know if i would want to do that even in a couple but so i've decided to come back i'm gonna have a bath we don't have a bath at our house i know so i'm gonna really enjoy this bath it's just really annoying because the products are like you know then they're locked in and i could have brought some of my own products but how do i get bubbles because this is not gonna it's not gonna work is it so that's a bit annoying um but i thought i'd show you guys the shampoo and conditioner and everything i'm using because this is what i brought with me and i'm yet to use these products so i'm using this living proof detoxifying shampoo i really want something that's gonna like get rid of the buildup in my hair it's a detoxifying shampoo and i really want something that's gonna i feel like my hair's got a lot of product build up in there at the moment and that's what's causing it to get greasier quicker i also do need my roots doing and that always makes your hair look more greasy the only thing i will say is i don't want to get my hair done at the moment because i just know the bleach is what kills my hair but that's another story for another time i'm then going to use the living proof perfect day conditioner i've never tried that and then there's this product in here which is a triple bond complex how does this work you put two pumps on clean damp hair and comb through so i think i'm going to try that out as well so these are all living proof products they actually sent me these and they've been sat in my um bathroom and i've not tried them so i'm very very intrigued so i'll show you what i've 
I've got in my travel, my travel skincare. I love these videos though, where people show what products they actually use every day. I feel like it's always more beneficial than products that you're gifted because obviously it's so nice to be gifted products, but are you using those in your everyday bag? Probably not. First up we have the Emma Hardy Eye Cream. The best eye cream I've ever tried. I had great reviews about it online, giving all the ASMR vibes. This eye cream has changed my life. Okay, we've got toothpaste really random. Loving this at the moment. This is the Dermatica Vitamin C. It's 15% vitamin C. Oh my God, love it so much. Cute little container. Bring it on the go, my new fave. I raved about that over on TikTok. Then here, I've got the Zoe Exfoliating Cleanser, and it is really, really exfoliating. It's got little beads in it. I'm new to this brand. I've heard amazing things about it. I do really love this cleanser. I need to try some of their other products out. So far, so good. Contact lenses for our contact lens wearing girlies. My prescription for anyone who's wondering is a minus five. Should probably be stronger than that, but you know. Uh, I've then got the Bobbi Brown Cleansing Oil Eye Makeup Remover. I can't lie, never tried this, but it was a cute sample travel size. So I brought it with me. Oh, fave product of mine. This is the smaller version. I have the bigger version too. This is the Nukes Body Oil with like some bronze in it, some shimmer. It is my favourite. I love it so much. Oh, Vegamore. Vegamore Eyelash Serum. Really getting on with this at the moment, but I have just ordered from TikTok Shop the Glow For It Eyelash Serum that I'm seeing all over my TikTok for you page. So yeah, we'll see if it replaces this okay elements little mini cleansing balm this is literally just a small version of that i also keep this and fill it up with elements cleansing balm to use when i travel all the time i've got a sol de janeiro body spray this is a new favorite product of mine from dr jar it's called ceramidin ceramid i'm not sure what's in here but it makes your skin glow love this okay i've then got a facial tanning mist i haven't actually used this in a while so and i've got a gloss from philip kingsley I've got a hand cream from L'Occitane. I actually love their hand creams. Not gonna put it on before I get in the bath, but I do. I've then got this EFFN Effin Spray Water Tan, which I love. Brazilian Bad Mum Cream, you guys know. I've used this product for like a thousand years. I would love to work with Sol de Janeiro. They work with so many girlies, and I have been a stan of this brand. It's probably like over 10 years that I've loved this brand for. Like, I'm such an OG for this brand, so yeah. And then I've also got this Jo Malone fragrance, which is like my new favourite. This is the Velvet Rose Nude. It's really nice. It's like a luxurious, sexy fragrance. And I'm going to do this sheet mask. This is from New Skin. Uh, no, it's not from New Skin. It's from MZ Skin. I'm going to try it out. Okay, everyone, this is what came. So I went for these like goat cheese croquettes, which I'm going to try. So I was taking a picture of Prosecco and chips because that's just an elite combo. Some chippies. By the way, I haven't had lunch. I know. So I'm going to eat this quickly now because we've got dinner soon. And they brought me loads of ketchup. And mayonnaise. Perfection. Jump scare. <laughs> I've got a friend that's joined me. Also, I've got this mask on. So I think I just showed you guys the brand in the bathroom and it's really nice and very hydrating but this section keeps moving. It really clings to the face. I love the gold. Very Dubai bling. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Leon's here. He's just turned up but he's just finished at work. So I think we're going to get changed and quickly go down to the spa. He's probably going to stay down there. I'll, I mean dinner's not till 7 so he'll probably literally stay down there till like 7.15 or something. I think I'm going to stay down there till about half 6 and then come oh, back. You said dinner's not till 7. 7.30? You said 7. No, okay, dinner's at 7.30 and Leon will stay down there till 7.50. I can't take this seriously right now. So I think I'm gonna leave at like 6.30 and come up and do my makeup and my hair because I want to get some nice content and pictures tonight. That is the reason why we're here, by the way. I'm here to get some content for their new restaurant. So I want to look nice when I go for dinner because I want to get some cute pics. We're gonna go. Hello, guys and gals. So I've popped this dress on. This is House of CB. I think it's like the most elegant, incredible dress ever. I really love this. And I think if I could do my engagement party again, this would be a serious contender. Cause I just think it looks really chic. I have tried so hard to do something with my hair, but I do not have all of my hair stuff here. And honestly guys, it just looks awful. I'm like, do I put it in a bun? I don't know what to do at this stage. I think we might just have to keep it to the back of the head. You know that look where you pull it around there? is and you stick it around the back of the head like that anyway that's what the dress is from i've got my dior little shoes on same jewelry as always new watch that i'm loving and my handbag i'm gonna take oh i did bring two options either this little ysl which i think i'm gonna do because it's on a long strap or i did have my i had my little louis vuitton but i just don't think it looks right i think this looks please excuse the mess in here honestly i've been filming but 
looks kind of cute. I think that looks kind of cute. And there we go. We're going to go because we're late. Hello, guys. So we are in the restaurant. We are in Savoy House, as you guys know. And they have a new restaurant that they've just opened. And it's called Umbu. Umbu? I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I'm so looking forward to it. We're actually here and they've got like this really beautiful set menu. So I'm going to show you all of the options that come out. I'm really, really looking forward to it. There's a lot of like veggie options. Leon's also very excited because there's a lot of things that he can eat. And yeah, it just looks really good. So very looking forward to it. But like, I had those little cheese croquettes and fries earlier, but now I'm ready to eat. Okay, so the first courses have turned up. Leon is honestly making a... Oh my God. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> He's literally smearing the soy sauce everywhere. Mine is asparagus, avocado. I think it's, that's it. Asparagus and avocado. There's something crunchy on the top though. It looks really nice, like radish. We've got a plum sauce, which I can't... I'm not sure if that's for the sushi or for the salad. And then there's some raw salmon there, which to be honest, they could have added the raw salmon to the salad because I'm kind of intrigued by it. So yeah. Okay, guys, we've already had so much food come. So we each had our own little sushi rolls which was so good mine had like asparagus and avocado in we've then, then got this really nice salad and it does actually have raw salmon in, which i'm not normally the best with but i did just try a little bit and it was really good like really really good i was i shocked myself how much i actually enjoyed it leon has currently got a lobster dumpling and i've got what's in mine do you want to pull the lid off mine oh there we go abracadabra oh mine's mushroom so there we go good morning vlog how are we all doing i am oh my nose is really itching me i've just woken up well i haven't just woken up i've woken up i've put on a little bit of light makeup and i'm gonna go down and grab breakfast i had a really slow morning i was like i'm gonna have breakfast at seven in the morning i'm gonna wake up so early and i was like i don't need to i want to enjoy this so i just literally sat in this incredible bed and enjoyed the view this view i've decided i want to live in this house someone could let me know if this house is for sale look at it it's oh my god it's my idea of like dream house that it would be my dream house like in the countryside but also we're near enough london like you can get into london from the area that we're in in 20 minutes so if you need to you can get to london from this train station i think actually to be fair the train station is probably like a 10 minute drive from here so maybe like half an hour you can be in london on the train but you're in the field you're in the countryside there's no one around there's no like big buildings around there's a golf course it just looks sublime and like the style of house like it's old-fashioned but it's not too old-fashioned that like it's like I don't know, too old. It just looks great. I've just decided it's a great house. Right, anyway, we're gonna go down and grab some breakfast. I need to also sort out this room before I leave. Put my engagement ring on. I take my engagement ring off at the moment to sleep in. I wasn't doing that before. I was just sleeping in my ring. And then I read online, like, you must take your engagement ring off. So I've started taking it off. Is that the right thing to do? I think I'm gonna leave earrings because my ears just feel a little bit like they want some space. So I'm gonna leave my earrings. I've got my necklace on, which is from the diamond store. I love this necklace. Class. They sent me this and I wear it every single day. I've never taken it off since I got it. Right, let's go get breakfast. Look who's here. Look who's here to visit me. This one. Have you been in the vlog yet? Yeah. Hello. Why shy. have you gone all shy? shy? It's Phoebe. The bitch is back. <laughs> and this one's here as well. Hi. She just went to I've Tesco. My... Yeah, her... I went to Tesco in these pajamas and a man like <laughs> literally double takes <laughs> down the aisle. At me. But... Down the aisle. <laughs> But that was funny. Down the aisle? Down the, no, it just sounded like down the, <laughs> down the aisle instead of the shopping aisle. It I sounded like the wedding weird, aisle. Though, no, I don't there. think it's weird. I've got out and way weird. weird. Yeah. Right, hello guys. So, Phoebe is here. I think I said in my vlog previously that Phoebe was coming to stay. My friend from Manchester, which most of you I'm sure will know. And she's brought her lovely doggy with her. But we've got our really cute Galentine's, Valentine's themed birthday, like for my birthday, kind of belated thing tonight. So I'm trying to get these earrings in at the same time and I can't. Bought these pajamas today from Primark. I went for a size small. I wish I'd got a medium. I don't know what possessed me to get a size small in pajamas. Like, always like them comfy and cozy, but I'm really looking forward to tonight. Let me spin the camera around. Also, I think when I saw you guys last, I was getting my nails done. This is the color I went for. It's Audrey in uh, the gel bottle. And it's a really nice pink. I almost wish it was a little bit more sheer, but it matches the vibe for tonight. I've also put a little bow in, so. This is my little tablescape I've done. Just something simple. I had this from like two years ago. These were coming off one of my lovely birthday flowers, so I thought I'd put them to good use. These lanterns are from mine and Leon's engagement, which I always think is so cute, because I just got them from the range, and they've lasted me like multiple um, tablescapes. I obviously took them to the actual engagement, and they've just been so handy. I then just got these two little mini vases and put some of the flowers in there, which I think look really, really cute. I did have this decorative thing that I actually bought when my friend got engaged as a 
engagement like we did like an engagement party for her but it's all got tangled up and i can't work out how to untangle it so yeah i've obviously got my lovely valentine's flowers here and we're all kind of doing like a board i normally commit to a board and do like i take it very seriously but this year i'm gonna put you guys here actually so i'm gonna put these earrings in this year this time i decided do you know what i do all these boards and i really put so much effort in and it's too much food and it doesn't get eaten and i just didn't want that to happen so instead i still can't get these earrings in i still i did some chocolate covered strawberries which i've just finished i bought a couple of pizzas from m and i'm gonna chop up in like heart shapes i've got these heart cutters so i'm gonna kind of make it cute making some fresh guacamole and obviously i've got some crisps and then i think we got a couple of like little dippy bits like hummus and things like that and obviously everyone's bringing stuff so my sister's doing like a s'mores board i think one of my other friends is doing a chocolate fondue one of my other friends is doing a cheese board and then i think that's it but if we need more food we can always order i just sometimes i feel like i ordered too much food and it doesn't get eaten so yeah really looking forward to it i'm gonna go and sip my lovely glass of wine and bring you guys along we're gonna play like board games and stuff i think it's gonna be so cute so this is phoebe's board <laughs> 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 I don't know what Phoebe and I were doing today. We went somewhere and it was all a bit of a disaster where we went. But anyway, that's for a story for another day. I tried, to, I tried to salvage it, so I thought I'd add the bottle of olive oil on the edge with the whole avocado. I'm really not sure what happened there. Kind of a mixed match of places as well, you know. Yeah. I just don't even know. know. But how pretty is clothes board? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I the oh my so God, I, I love it so much. I think it's so pretty. I think if I ate me, but they're really cute, there's little oh, yeah. oh, I'm quite excited. I, I wish we understood the traitors game because we would have played that but instead we're just going for a classic articulate instead because i think the traitors game is a little bit too complex but let's know if you played that before because i actually would love to play it but it did confuse me because kayla gave me the instructions and i just didn't even understand the yeah, instructions so is it, um... yeah ah! it's um oh eat it as well it's um fruits yes vegetables. but what type of fruit guess who's back 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 again 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 curly's back Back. Dennis is here. There's Dennis. Hi guys. So we obviously had that really cute night last night. But we're all just chatting, chatting and catching up. Yeah. And then we played this other really <laughs> funny game after the game that I showed you. You know the one where you have like a celebrity on your head and you have to guess who you've got on your head. But some of the people and some it was just so funny. Um, who did I get? I can't even remember. Anna Wintour. Anna Wintour. Anna Wintour. Anna Wintour. And um, Freddie Mercury. Mercury, yeah. I had quite good ones actually. You know, I got the Queen. You got the Queen. You got the queen. I just didn't get. Like I did get it. She literally there. was, yeah. And then RuPaul. Yeah, RuPaul. You got RuPaul like that. So we did that last night, it was really cute, and now we are just off to pub. To pub. We went to Waffle <laughs> House. We took Dennis on a walk and I literally, honestly, insert the video here, got like drowned. I just went flying by the way and nearly fell onto Dennis. I wish he was vlogging at the time because I think that pub is good. Really this is a really nice house shop by the way, really nice. Maybe you want to know. But yeah, anyway, we're going to the pub to get a drink. Hello vlog, how are we all doing? Hope you're doing well. Today is one of those like vile, disgusting days. You know, when you look out the window, like, please don't judge my hair. I didn't even bother because it's raining so much. I am quickly off out to Primark to pick up some bits. I'm doing a little bit of work for them. And I also just want to check out Primark's like new in. I haven't done like a big old Primark shop in a while. So I'm thinking of filming a Primark haul with the stuff that I pick up. Um, I've just popped on this little cozy outfit. I've got my Lily Silk cashmere trousers on, which honestly, they're expensive. God, my makeup looks a bit wild on this camera. They're expensive, but best purchase ever made. Also, girlies, it was Mother's Day the other the day and Sophie my fur baby got me these flowers how pretty are they thank you Sophie thank you Leon <laughs> I've got no lipstick on I look a bit crazy my makeup actually looks crazy I did it in about two seconds that's probably why Sophie wasn't eating but she's now eating I have to lure her in with chicken. Oh, it's all over my rug. Thank you, darling. Look, she'll leave all that. She's so fussy. Hello, guys. How are we doing? I'm actually looking a bit wild because I've not started my hair. It needs a wash. So let's just ignore this. I've actually gone back to having extensions at the moment. It's not a long-term thing. Probably going to have them taken out next week. But it was fun. I had them for about... By the time I get them out, I think it's going to be about four weeks. They're the new Beauty Works wefts. And they're like a big tape. I'm intrigued how my hair's going to be when I take it out. But yeah, let me know if you want more info on this. Because I've actually quite enjoyed it. And I quite like how... I mean, honestly, it took 20 minutes to put in. Which is so nice. If you're someone's ever had extensions, you know how long that process is. And also, it's nice you can have like them in and out quite quickly. I just quite enjoy that. So yeah, definitely not something I'm going to be having forever. But I've stopped the bleaching completely. I mean, look at the roots. 
cheeks i just basically now i'm letting it fully grow out so i had i was a bit bad and i had my extensions put back in also obsessed with, ne with this neon candle it smells incredible in this whole house it's the scent hibernate beautiful but what i wanted to come and talk to you guys about with my bestie say hello Say hi guys. So I'm sure you guys know by now, this is Sophie, our lovely rescue, who lives with us, who is my best friend. And if you want more info about Sophie and I don't know, if you want any questions answered, feel free to comment below and I will answer you guys. She is from Hungary. She's roughly around three years old. She's had quite a few pups. Sorry, my, my phone's ringing. So yeah, anyone that wants information about Sophie or not necessarily Sophie, but about rescuing a, well, not necessarily a dog either. I feel like I'm like going around in circles here. About French Bulldog Saviors, which is the charity that we got her from. Feel free to ask me any questions. Um, I feel like you can't win with the internet and I'm, I'm gonna just make that statement now. Like you just can't, win if i'd got a puppy and showed you i'd got a puppy i would have been absolutely annihilated for getting a puppy and going to a breeder you get a rescue dog and then people have told me that i didn't rescue her i didn't go to hungary no i didn't the charity the incredible charity did um why didn't i get a rescue dog from the uk what else have i had why did i rescue a flat-faced breed the list goes on and on and you cannot please everyone um i would have rescued you know there was a huge range of breeds I would have rescued. I would have loved a golden retriever. There's another charity that I love that rescue a lot of golden retrievers, but our house is not big enough. I fell in love with her. I fell in love with her profile. She fits perfectly into our home. She is such a lovable dog and I am so obsessed with her. And trust me when I say she's having like the best life possible. And we're working on things. There's things we've got to work on. That's that's what comes with having a rescue. I, I really want to promote getting a rescue dog, but I want to promote it to the right people. And you know, if you're not ready for the commitment of an animal, a rescue dog is not the way to go. There's definitely things that we are finding challenging walks for one meeting dogs on the lead it's so random some dogs she's like obsessed with some she likes to have a bit of a grumble at she doesn't lunge at any she doesn't go for any but she does kind of say like leave me alone we're having some issues with eating at times like we are having little things here and there she's quite nervous of things children any sort of crying or anything like that with children is a real trigger for her so you know we're gonna get there but i just think if it's something that you feel you would like to do and if you particularly like french bulldogs there's so many of them now that need to rescued they were a really popular breed unfortunately that happens with dogs in general it happens with everything things have trends it's not right these are living breathing animals but it it does happen and there's a lot of them that need homes so yeah rant over me and so wherever she's gone sophie we're gonna go to the pub <laughs> say bye everyone oh oh you're laying on your back so yeah, me and this little one, this little gremlin, this little gremlin. Somebody said she didn't have a very nice face the other day and it really upset me. She has such a beautiful face. She's stunning. We're gonna go to the pub. So that is our plan. And um, I'm sure I'll check in with you guys later this week. Mm -hmm. 